Hi everyone and welcome to the Better Everyday YouTube channel. My name is Randy. So today we are checking out another song from the Birthday Massacre. I guess it might help if I make it to where you can see it. Didn't have it backwards. Let me flip it back around. There we go. Okay. Um, it's a lyric video. The song is called Midnight. Sorry, I thought I had gotten rid of my filters, but I guess not. Okay, now it's better. Anyway, without further ado, here we go. Trying to make sure it's loud enough. Forever. I like this. This seems really relatable. This this band, there's something about the way they make their music that just takes me back to when I was young and would listen to the radio back in like the 90s. Um, so I don't know if it's because the song is from that era or if there's just certain things, certain elements in their music that, you know, have similarities to things that I heard when I was younger. But it also takes me back to when I was young listening to the radio as far as how I'm feeling internally just very somehow youthful and bright and hopeful and perhaps although I don't haven't seen all of the lyrics perhaps like you know being into someone and just hoping that they would you know take that take me up on that offer you know um Oh, I miss the 90s. I used to sit in the garage with my best friend and just listen to the radio. My parents didn't really like me listening to the radio. So I would usually do it at my friend's house in her garage, you know. Um, anyway. I like that those lyrics probably a terrible place to pause us. I'm sorry. I like that the lyrics for this little post chorus part, third verse, whatever you want to call it. I don't think it's a third verse, but a lot of music after a second chorus will have just a little bit more lyrics in it, not necessarily be a third verse. So whatever you would call that. Um, these lyrics aren't as clear. They're not as, uh, specific to something. I feel like these lyrics are a little bit more not subjective but something. Like a lot of the music that I like to listen to, the lyrics aren't direct. 
you know, like, I love you, you love me, we're a happy family. They're not exactly direct. They're more, they can mean different things depending on your mood when you listen to a song and where the song takes you. But sometimes they'll be more direct. And I feel like these lyrics right here, they're not directly um, representing something specific. They're a little bit more open to interpretation. That's what I'm looking for. Correct me if I'm wrong on that. But nothing waiting in the silence below. To me, that's not direct. That's a little bit more interpretive. I don't know if that's the right thing. And also, I haven't mentioned her voice yet on this song. I really like kind of angelic quality in the uplifting quality um, of her voice. Anyway. about those lyrics in the chorus uh, when all that you know has fallen behind you um, there's nobody here to find you tonight is forever I'm probably missing something makes me think that is just go with me for a moment as if she is speaking to the person she's with or the person that she likes and she's saying whatever's behind you is behind you so it's not what's behind you that would cause you to say no because it's behind you and there's nobody here nobody to find you so don't be afraid of what other people are thinking tonight is forever it makes me think you know I'm here I'm here with you um confessing my feelings whatever's behind you is behind you and nobody else matters because it's just you and me uninterrupted don't be afraid I may be completely miss reading the um lyrics but the you know all i need is a um, wait for you to change your mind that is so relatable to so many people i i can think of multiple times in my life when i was interested in somebody and just was willing to wait for them and it almost never paid off in my case because i was just not Really, somebody that was, uh, it wasn't, um, reciprocated, we'll say, until I started losing weight, and then the, the tide started to turn, and then I realized what it was like whenever somebody actually was like, oh, wait, what? And had the chance of reciprocating feelings, so that was interesting. Um, anyway, I like the song, sorry, I don't, this song, it just put me in a different, uh, mental state, I feel somehow you're more youthful it's just it's taken me back between the music and just the vibe of the music I need something better than vibe and the lyrics of that I have held on to most of you know if I wait for you to change your mind um and there's nobody else here don't worry about them please take my hand kind of thing between the music and those lyrics it just takes me back to when I was younger um, and I like that. And I like the kind of, uh, somehow optimistic kind of sound, uh, which in my, in my case, historically, it wouldn't have been optimistic, but you know, I liked it. I'm going to stop rambling. I enjoyed the song very much. Thank you for the recommendation. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Have a good one.